this is Monica with the Remote Plans and today we are going to plan the week of August 14th through August 20th in my hourly Erin Condren planner and I am going to be using a kit from my shop, Kit 103, this week. So I have printed off most of the pages from the kit. If you didn't know, I do have a printable shop on Etsy. There's a link and a discount code down in the description box if you want to check it out. But I have the doodle boxes page that has some of the dots. I have the icon and scripts, the washi page, the full box page, just the boxes and appointment labels, a miscellaneous box page with checklists, and then the thick washi with the date headers. So there also comes time labels with my kits that I do not print off here just because I don't find that I really need them. And then if the kit that I'm using offers clip art, there's also cl a clip art page with this. So um, I went ahead and printed off these kits and I need to check my blades in my silhouette machine because I can tell like when I was ripping them off, they weren't ripping very smoothly and my daughter wanted to help with that. She always likes to help when I cut stickers. So I wanted to make sure that she didn't completely rip any of the pages. So I had to print and cut them again, but everything turned out good. I just need to check my cut settings in my blades. I think I either need to replace my blades or need to move my cut settings for these just because I've been using them for a while. All right, so I have the dates down. So we are gonna go ahead and just put these down. With my kits right now, they have two versions for the Erin Condren hourly. They have a 22-23 version and then a 23-24 version. And that is because of the changes that they made with the planners when they put out the new planners. So the new planners, the columns are just a tad wider than they are in the older planners. So I do provide both options just in case you are still using the older planners. All right. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to put down this. Let's see. have a couple of different options um and I think I'm gonna put at the top this washi that comes on the side of the pages and it'll go down into the six o'clock hour but in the mornings I'm just doing my morning routine on the weekdays so I'm not really covering up a ton And then on the other side, I'm just going to grab this from one of the pages. I have this on a couple of the pages and the design always matches. So if you just wanted to use this, um, like these pieces of washi, then you wouldn't actually need to print and cut the washi page. So. And then down here at the bottom, I think I'm going to put the popsicle washi down just because, you know, we've started school here. It's still hot, but, you know, we're finishing. I'm hoping that the nice cooler weather is going to be coming around pretty soon, but we are still in summer. So 
I just want to go ahead and go with that popsicle theme. So there's a couple of things that I like to do just kind of to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and put my weekend sticker down here and then I am going to put my YouTube videos down and I think this week I'm going to use these scalloped boxes. So Monday is this video, which is this plan with me. And then on Thursday, I am going to be doing a, a video about my sticker storage. So I um, recently bought a bunch of stickers from Planner Kate. With her anniversary sale i also picked up some stuff from chrissy Ann designs a couple of sheets and i just need to reorganize i got a new binder from planner kate i do have a haul video of my what i got from planner kate on my channel so i just need to go through and move all of my stickers from like this binder into the new binder so i'm gonna go ahead and film that and that is the video that's going to be going up on Thursday but then also I have my AM routine so I have five of these because I really just focus on doing my AM routine throughout the week so I'm just going to put this up here in this top box I did that I think last week and I really liked the look of that so we're just gonna go ahead and do that I don't really worry about it on the weekends so so I'm just still working on building up that routine and then the last thing I'm gonna do right now is Go ahead and just put down these fork and knife stickers for our for our dinners. All right, so now that we have all of that done, we can go ahead and get started with planning Monday. So Monday is our trash day. So I'm just going to put this at the top and then I don't have any meetings at work on Monday. I try not to do any meetings on Monday um, if I can help it. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a full box here to kind of mark off some of that time. And then Monday night we have gymnastics. So we have gymnastics at six and then the plan with Blake and call is actually, um, I'm actually going to put this on the bigger one just because gymnastics is for an hour. So. And then I have the plan with Blake and call at seven. Now I'm most likely not going to make this at seven but this will at least remind me that I need to do the replay so I'm in her goal setting community and we do a weekly like coaching call so I'm probably gonna miss that one just because we will, that's about the time we will be getting out of gymnastics and then on Tuesday I am going 
to go and work out. I ended up going Tuesday last week. I planned on going Monday and that just didn't really work that well for me. So I went Tuesday and it worked a lot better. And I think just because, so Tuesday is when my husband takes my daughter to daycare. He takes her Tuesday, takes her to school Tuesday and Thursdays. Um, and then I take her Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So because I don't have to take her to school, I'm still getting up and like helping in the mornings, but it just worked really, it worked a lot better to go um, when we leave at the same time and I just go work out while he takes her to school. And then I do have two meetings on Tuesday and I honestly don't know where my meeting stickers went. Um, so I'm just gonna write these in just because I have more meetings than I have scripts for in the kit. So just to keep it consistent. I am going to go ahead and just write those in. And then for these, I like to set time throughout the week to work on Etsy stuff, like Etsy Roman plan stuff, and then so. I'll go ahead and put that one on Wednesday as well. All right, so that's everything for Tuesday. I don't really have enough room for a full box. It kind of just goes edge to edge and I don't want it to go edge to edge. So I'm just going to leave that there. And then on Wednesday, I have a couple of meetings as well. So, all right. So for this day, I have a nine o'clock meeting. Which that's like the only meeting I have that early ever. I don't, like when I'm setting meetings, I don't like to set them on Mondays or Fridays and I don't like to set them before like 10 or after four. I just, those are just kind of like my rules for when I set meetings. But because of the time change and what that meeting is, there's really no way to get around that 9 a.m. meeting. So that we do that every other week. And then I have Etsy that night. And then on Thursday, I'll go ahead and put this Etsy down here now that I'm thinking about it. But we have the YouTube video and then I'm gonna try to work out as well. My goal is to work out kind of every, um, so my goal is to work out like once a week right now, because I'm getting back in the habit after being gone from working out consistently for a while. So because I'm getting back in the habit, I'm only really holding myself accountable to once a week. However, if I can go twice a week, that's great. So I kind of want to plan for that for two times a week. And then if something happens on a Tuesday and I don't get to go, then I have Thursday that I'm already planning for. And then I only have one meeting on Thursday. And that is at one o'clock. I'm 
going to go ahead and just put this full box here just to add some decoration to that. And then I do need to cut stickers. So I will do that on my lunch break. So I'm going to grab this icon here and actually I'm just going to use the script because on Friday I will film and I want to make sure that I have all the stickers that I need for the next like week of videos cut and ready to go um, if I'm cutting stickers. And then Friday is also payday. So I'm going to go ahead and put this sticker in here to mark that. Gonna grab an icon sticker here and just put film. So I can do that on my lunch break on Friday. And then I'll grab this. Full box, put that there. So my daughter's daycare is actually doing a parents night out. So I am just gonna put that down here. So we're gonna lift up this fork and knife sticker. put this here and then on Saturday my husband is actually working Saturday and Sunday his schedule for the weekends did change a bit just um they changed up a lot of their schedules I'm gonna grab, I have these Victor Works stickers. So he used to work from six to six, but now they are gonna be working from 12 to 12. So this one isn't. So I'm just gonna put that there. And then I'll put this full box here. And then up here, I need to mill prep. Oh, wait a minute. So up here, I'm going to do a to-do list. And then on Sunday, I'm going to meal prep. And then I will go ahead and put a to-do list here on Sunday. As well. And then that's everything for the week. So we're going to move over to the sidebar. I always like to white out the month here just because it's kind of big and bold. And it makes this area a little bit taller than my full boxes. This flag here. With this. And then I'll put a checklist. Sometimes this checklist has a lot on it and then sometimes 
it has barely anything. It just really depends on the week. And what's going on. So I'm gonna kind of move this down a bit. These step stickers. So I'm just gonna put that there. And then I'm just gonna put these down here at the bottom. And then for my habits this week, I'm gonna do an AM read. So this is where I read my nonfiction book. And then I'm gonna do like my regular reading and then water. So those are the three that, those aren't the only three that I'm working on this month, but those are kind of my main focus for this week. Are those three. So those are the ones that I want to put here. And this I'm going to move up a little bit. There. So this box is where I'll put my total for the steps for the week um, because I go on a weekly steps goal instead of a daily steps goal. So that is where I will put that. So this is everything for the week. I like to leave um, some white space in case something comes up, then I am able to add it in or make changes if I need to, but it's really good. It just gives me an overview for the week so I can kind of see what's going on at a glance and then I can drill down with my daily planning. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead, hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.